Let's get crafty! Hello and welcome to Supply Diva's DIY channel. Today we'll be doing a project that I'm very excited about. We'll be turning our alcohol ink doodles into wearable art. I've always wanted to do more with my doodles and with resin I can create wearable art. Here are some examples of the kind of jewelry that you'll be able to make after watching this video. This is a great way to incorporate beautiful, bright colors into your jewelry designs. If you've worked with resin before, you should have most of the supplies needed for this project, especially if you've done a petri dish. We use basic tools. Your favorite brand of resin, alcohol inks, we use Jim Holtz by Ranger, mixing cups and a stirring device. A silicone work mat is nice, but use whatever you have around to keep your work surface clean. Scissors to cut out your designs. Isopropyl alcohol. A paintbrush. Yupo or Pixis paper. We plan to do videos on expensive brands versus their more affordable counterparts. So be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications if you want to see when we release that video. A micro perm pen to add designs. The last thing that we need are bezel cup settings made by Supply Diva. We offer these settings for pendants, earrings, and rings. We produce these in copper, brass, bronze, and nickel silver. They are high quality, solid metal, and sturdy findings. You can find the link to purchase our bezel cups in the description. We are going to use Pixis paper for this project, as it is much more affordable than Yupo. I will say it helps a lot if you paint on a light layer of isopropyl alcohol first. I found that without this layer, my colors don't really want to spread out and react with one another. How you doodle and what you doodle is really up to you. You can always reactivate your inks with a paintbrush or spray bottle of alcohol. It's a lot of fun watching what the inks do and how they react. We are going to quickly show you some of the beautiful color reactions you can achieve with alcohol inks. If you end up with more color than you want, you can dab it up with a paper towel. You can use a heat gun to move the ink around your paper, or from further away to dry it faster. Once your work has dried, you can draw on it with your micro perm pen, and this allows you to really customize and personalize your work. And the best part is this pen won't cause the inks to reactivate. So once you have finished and you are satisfied with your work, allow it to fully dry. This doesn't take long thanks to the fact that the alcohol evaporates quickly. I've chosen part of my doodle and will trace around the edges of the bezel setting. Keep in mind you will be cutting inside your lines. Trimming will be required to make the piece fit. Keep trimming around your design until it fits inside the bezel flat without bending or folding against the edges. It should be a nice, smooth fit. We tried using paper cutters, but do not recommend this. Pixis and Yupo are plastic papers. Our cutter ended up jamming and damaging some of our work. However, other times the paper cutter worked just fine, so it's really at your own risk. Now we are ready to mix our resin. We have a video just about mixing resin for jewelry. The link is above. This brand is a one-to-one -one ratio, so we just mix for three minutes and let it rest. Once your resin is ready, we put a drop down onto the metal first. Then we carefully place the cutout mini art on top, pressing down gently and turning to remove any bubbles. Slowly fill the bezel with resin. I try to do this slowly to avoid bubbles but bubbles always show up, and I pop them with my mini torch. I like to add a lot of resin to these to get a domed look. Just be careful not to overdo it. Have a paper towel damp with isopropyl alcohol ready in case you spill and need to clean up your sides. We have tried a heat gun and didn't like it. Heat guns really move your resin around, 
and we almost had some go over the sides of our bezels. A small butane torch is optional to remove bubbles. A butane torch is much nicer to work with. So it's just that simple. Mix your resin, drop some in before adding your art, cover it with resin, and enjoy your beautiful new jewelry. Now we wait. We waited a whole day for these beauties, but it was well worth it. I absolutely love how the inks look under the resin, and it's nothing like the Petri technique. You have a lot more control of the outcome. This is a great way to add a big pop of color to metal jewelry. For pendants, you can string them on cord or a chain. You might need a jump ring depending on the style of bezel. Small settings can be put onto ear wires and they are ready to wear. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspired you to turn your doodles into wearable art. These make great gifts for friends and family and they're really easy to personalize. Please subscribe and turn on notifications to get updates when we release more DIY projects, interviews with makers, and when we do educational videos on how our jewelry supplies are created. And for everyone out there that wants to try this project, we have a 15% off coupon code for our bezel settings.